Welcome to our video on how to add JASIT fundamentals to your client files. There are three steps to the process. Using copy components to bring mapping and JASIT templates into your file. Importing the client trial balance. And mapping the trial balance. Let's begin. Step 1. Copy components. In this step we will show you how to copy the JASIT templates and the JASIT map numbers into the existing Caseware file. Open the existing client file with Caseware. If your existing financial statements are using the FS identifier, we recommend that you change the identifier before copying in the JASIT financial statements. The JASIT financial statements also use the identifier FS, and changing the identifier will ensure that your existing statements are not overridden. Right click and select Properties. Change the identifier to Old FS. You can also change the financial statement name. You need to copy in the following components, the JASIT templates and the JASIT map numbers. To copy the JASIT templates and map numbers into the file, go to File and select Copy Components. Click on the option copy into this file. Browse to and select the JASIT master file. Select the JASIT master file, for example the GenMast. Let's look at how to copy in the JASIT templates. Select the following components and check off the documents checkbox. A list of all the JASIT templates in the master file will appear in the Documents screen. Click on Deselect All before manually selecting the templates. And manually check off the templates you want to copy into the file. Or click on Select All to copy in all the templates. Let's look at how to copy in the JASIT map numbers. Before you start a new file, ask yourself, have you used Caseware mapping in your file before? If map numbers have not been applied consistently to all your files, for example you may have used your own mapping structure, then you will have to delete the existing map numbers in the working trial balance before copying in the JASIT map numbers using copy components. Map numbers will have to be reapplied to the accounts. If map numbers have been consistently assigned to the accounts, for example using the default caseware map numbers, then you can convert the existing caseware map numbers to the JASIT map numbers using copy components. We will show you how this can be done in this video. JASIT uses a configuration file called the template INI to automatically assign the default caseware map numbers to the corresponding JASIT map numbers. Map additional Caseware map numbers to the corresponding JASIT map number. New additions can be saved to the template INI file for use when mapping other client files using these map numbers. To convert the map numbers to JASIT map numbers, check off the Groupings Mapping checkbox. You'll want to copy in the Lead Sheets, Group 3, PEM and SCORE group numbers. Select the options as shown. Click Options next to the Mapping field. Select the options as shown. And click Remap. The map numbers on the left are the old mapping numbers and the map numbers on the right are the JASIT map numbers. If the left side is blank, then it means all existing default Caseware map numbers have been allocated to the new JASIT map numbers. Any additional map numbers that were created over and above the default Caseware map numbers should be allocated to a corresponding JASIT map number on the right. This will ensure that the mapping for your client file is maintained and converted to the JASIT mapping structure. To map the additional map numbers, select the map number Select the corresponding JASIT map number. The 
Jazzit map numbers are bolded. You can also hold down the shift key and click on the plus sign next to a map number to see all the available Jazzit map numbers. Once the left side is cleared, click Apply and OK. You can save the additional map numbers you've mapped to the Jazzit template INI file. Click on Set as Default to add the newly mapped accounts to the template INI. This way Casepair will remember the old map numbers you've mapped to the Jazzit map numbers, if they exist in other files so you won't need to map them again when converting the files to the Jazzit templates. As we are copying from a master file with no client specific data, we can leave these clearing components blank. In the last window you'll have a summary of what you have chosen in the copy components wizard. The file you are copying to, the file you are copying from, and a list of components chosen. Click Finish to complete the process. Accounts previously mapped to the default caseware mapping are remapped to the corresponding Jazzit map numbers. The Jazzit financial statements template is copied into the file along with the other selected Jazzit templates. The old financial statements still remain in the file to use as a reference. Step 2. Importing the Client Trial Balance In this step we will look at how to import the Client Trial Balance from Accounting Software and from Microsoft Excel. There are three methods for importing client data into the Caseware file. Importing directly from Accounting Software, importing from Microsoft Excel, and manually entering the client data using the other entry screen in Caseware. This method is not covered in this tutorial. Importing from Accounting Software. Click on the Engagement tab and select Import from Accounting Software. There are a number of accounting software packages you can import from. Select the one you want to import from. For example, QuickBooks. Select the version of the software you are importing from. If you are unsure which version of the software you are importing from, Open the accounting software and then Help About to see the current version. Browse to where the accounting data is saved. Click on Help or press the F1 key if you are unsure which data files you need to import into Caseware. Choose to import the final trial balance or the general ledger details. The settings below will differ depending on the selection. For QuickBooks, select the accounting year. Select to import prior year data if no prior year data exists in the Caseware file. We recommend you leave the period date sequence on yearly if you are preparing only year-end financial statements. Uncheck the Giphy option. Open the Working Trial Balance. The chart of accounts and balances have been imported into the client file. Make sure that the trial balance still balances after import. When importing from Simply Accounting, remember the following. Check the Skip Giphy Jada checkbox and uncheck the Update Sign field on Import checkbox. Both the Giphy number and sign field are specified by the Jazzit map number and should not be overwritten by client data on import. You can import the trial balance from a Microsoft Excel file. All you need is the account number, account description and the balances in a columnar format. When will you import from Excel? When the accounting software is not supported by the Caseware accounting software import, when the client uses their own in-house developed or industry specific software, for example Reynolds and Reynolds for car dealerships. 
You wish to edit the client accounting information prior to importing it into the Caseware file. When the client provides the trial balance in MS Excel format. To import an Excel trial balance, select the Engagement tab and select Import from Excel file. Select Chart of Accounts and General Ledger Balances. Browse to the location of the saved client trial balance. Enter the worksheet number if different from the default. Select the period date sequence. For example, if you are importing yearly, select year or monthly for monthly importing. This is tied to the period date sequence set up in the engagement properties. Exclude any rows from the import. These can be headings, totals and or blank rows. In the Field Details screen, assign a field to each column. Click on the Ignore Column heading and select the field. For example, select Account Details and Account Number. Continue assigning the rest of the columns. When assigning balances, make sure that you complete the field information. If you made a mistake when selecting a column field, select Ignore and reselect the correct field. The options in the Advanced Specifications screen can be left as is. Refer to the Caseware Help F1 for more information on each option. The Account Summary screen shows a list of accounts that have been added or modified in the client file. In the Complete Excel Import Wizard screen, if you will be importing Excel data for this client each year, you may also want to save the record layout for future use. Select Import to complete the import process. Open the Working Trial Balance. The chart of accounts and balances have been added to the client file. Make sure that the trial balance still balances after import. Step 3. Mapping the trial balance. In this step we will look at how to map the client trial balance to the JAZIT map numbers. The JAZIT map numbers follow an easy to understand format. The first three characters of the map number are the same as the default caseware map number. The next four characters represent the Giphy code and the last two characters are used to create multiple map numbers for the same Giphy code. When you assign map numbers to the client's GL accounts, the properties found in the map structure are applied to the accounts. Click on the Account tab and select Assign Mappings. The unmapped GL accounts will show on the left and the JAZIT map numbers appear on the right. The objective is to assign the GL accounts to the appropriate JAZIT map numbers. Select the GL account or hold down the control button and click to select multiple GL accounts to be mapped to the same map number. Select the JAZIT map number on the right. JAZIT map numbers are bolded. Click the Map button. The GL account or accounts will be removed from the left side of the screen. You can also hold down the Shift button to select a range of GL accounts that you want to map to the same map number.
If you have mapped the GL account to the incorrect map number, you can unmap the account and remap the account to the correct map number. Continue mapping the GL accounts until the left side is clear or you can choose to map only those GL accounts with balances. To show the GL account balances, right click and select show balance. This will show the current year balances. Right click and select show prior year balance. This will show the prior year balances. Click OK to exit the Assign Mapping Numbers screen. Open the Jazit Financial Statements and jump to the balance sheet. The financial statements are updated with the balances. If you double click on any amount in the balance sheet, you can see which GL accounts make up the amount. The Jazit financial statements are updated as the GL accounts are mapped. Let's look at an example. Clicking Apply will update the balances in the Jazzit Financial Statements. This is very useful if you have your Jazzit Financial Statements open on a second monitor as you can see the balances moving into the statements as you map. If you already have the Giphy codes in your client file you can also auto map the trial balance using Giphy codes. Go to Tools, Options and select the auto fill property. Click on the Auto Map Now button. Map numbers that have been auto mapped will have a yellow warning indicator next to them.